Hello, Monsters of Band here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 14 of my Luan Luan Kerr Bretonia campaign with the Grimhammer mod, which I feel is kind of a mixed bag, at least for me. I do realise that people really love the mod. For me, I like some aspects of it. Don't like some others, but thinking about it, some of those aspects are simply because Total War is just not very... One of the things I don't like, right, is the fact that everything has 50 fucking effects on it and it's very difficult to know what's affecting you at any one time. So, for example, why do Luan's units cost 144? Fuck knows. But to be honest, it really should be. There should be a better way of knowing why. You should be able to hover over this number and for it to show you the base cost any modifiers and where they're coming from and that's just something total war's just not very good at to be honest there's, there's a whole bunch of shit that total war just doesn't fucking tell you stuff like i mean the, the obvious one of course is stuff like ambush spotting chance now there is definitely a chance to be spotted and that's not ambush success chance either because if i like if I were to hold over here, you can see there's ambush success chance 70% over those trees. That's 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 the chance for you to successfully ambush someone that blunders into you. Nothing to do with the ambush spotting chance, which is your chance to be spotted by an agent or hero nearby. What the chance of that is, I still don't fucking know. I've had a few people throw up numbers and percentage chances at me throughout throughout the years that I've pointed this out, but I don't think anyone actually actually knows. They're just guessing. They're just guessing, oh, I think it's about 10% per agent. Is it, though? Does anyone know? Do the developers know? Does, like, literally, does anyone know what that chance is? Because I don't fucking know. Anyway. I mean, the, the, the whole how much damage you actually do is also something else. Like, you've got melee attack and melee defense and, and weapon strength and armor piercing damage, and you're like, well, how does that all work together? And there is a calculation there, but God knows you can't find it in the actual game. It's just something. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where I kind of know how it works, and so I, and, you know, the higher numbers are better. That's fine, but it's it, game's not very good at telling you that information. It's it's quite obfuscated, to be honest, and uh, it's just something that Total War's not very good at. And I guess that means that if you have a mod where there is a lot of modifiers on a lot of shit, I mean, there's five modifiers on normal stance, garrisoned. Upkeep reduction. So you're getting 10% upkeep reduction just from that. I mean, fair enough. Of the realm. But unless I actually went, oh shit, what's going on here? Would I know? Absolutely not. I'd have to actually check the stance, and it's not even the normal stance, it's when they're actually in a settlement garrisoned. I mean, fine, but that's, you know, that's, that's something Total War's not very good at. It's not necessarily something Grimhammer is actually... Maybe Grimhammer's just not very sympathetic to the fact that it doesn't necessarily give you all the information you need. Anywho, uh, the world's on fire and evil reigns. This is good in some ways because obviously we can be very chivalrous and defeat evil and all that shit, although, you know, potentially drowning in the horde of evil could well be something that happens. Um, so we're about halfway-ish to 2k. Um, I'm hoping we can reach 2k <laughs> before we all die. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, Orion is currently chasing Ikaclaw, which is good. I'm glad Orion's there to save my ass. I am. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send Henry here. Old Henners. He's not Henry, it's Daniel. Daniel. Old Dan. Old Dan. Old Dan. Oh, God. All right. Let's. I mean, okay. So. Okay. So we've got. Okay. okay. So that's not a good start. <laughs> the, the fact. Uh, the fact that Blessed Red are up here is really not great. Uh, I was really hoping that the Wood Elf, that not the, wood, the Lizard Men, were doing really well for themselves, but I got a sneaky suspicion that they're probably not. Uh, okay, let's let's get the Heraldry of Carcassonne, then we can get the Unification of Bretonia, which is going to give us plus ten peasants. Not that I fucking need them, because they're garbage and I can't afford them anyway. So there we go. That's fun. Ever been friends of Bretonia. Yeah, please be my friends. Thank you. I could do with I could do with more friends. Looks like Trace is dead. And I'm hoping that Alariel and Tyrion just make fucking just just kiss and make up, guys. <sighs> okay. Okay, so 
We've knocked down some stuff here, which is good. We need more money, basically. I'm tempted to get defences, because I think we're going to need them. Oh, uh, God. What? I, you know what? I knew, I knew as soon as I settled Gorsal that we'd have just hordes of fucking marauders. And look what's happened. Look at them. Three stacks of the wankers. And that's the only ones I can see. I am the blood of All right. I know it's not very, you know, King chivalrous, but I'm going to ambush. Um, I'm also going to recruit some more stuff. Something like that. Good. Is there anyone we can trade with? The Knights of Origo. Isn't she nice? Buy my pots. Your mother's... Anyone else want to buy my pots? What about you? By Sigma's will, come in peace. Okay, Agreed? I'd rather just you buy my pots. Because God knows someone needs to. It's the only thing keeping me buoyant at the moment is people buying my bloody pots. I would... Uh, yeah, we need to get that, don't we? I need to save my money and get that. And I'm tempted to go and get Got Trek and Felix. Get salt? Sure. Sure! Let's get some salt. Let's... Let's hope the lizards are still alive. Oh, that's not good. That's not... Oh, that's bad. Do you wish the lady's favour? Do you? You want me to join your war against the crooked moon? Are they still alive? Holy shit. Did he actually make it down there? Wait, who the fuck owns all of this? Oh, I bet that's Grimgore, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh, no. I don't... I don't... How the fuck did Carcassonne die? What hit them? What the... Very well. I go. What? What? There's no one here. <laughs> they just imploded. What the fuck just happened? What? Hey? Eh? Unless it's unless the Skaven are there, but I'm standing right out the side their nice. settlement, going, "Why is it?" Exp oh god, it's that, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no. And there's fucking. Marauders everywhere. I assent to your order. Uh, fine. You can attack in one turn. Um, okay. My strength and wisdom are yours. Okay. No! By the light of the lady. Okay, this is what we're gonna My do. Reputation precedes me. We're gonna come out of the city because I don't Receive want the lady's favor. I don't want them getting attacked one by one. So we're going to do that. Fire us the peasant kicker. You're going to be immortal, mate. There you go. You can never die. You can never leave me. And let's get some ogres. Sure. Okay. Good. Good. This is fine. All of this is fine. I'm hoping Orion is going to chase. How did they sneak past? Did they sneak past? Genuinely don't fucking know. They must have snuck past and just bopped Carone while I wasn't watching. But how did they... Because they had an army as well, so how did they do that? What the hell's going on? Thought you... Oh. You can lightning strike, can you? I see. I did wonder if you might be able to do that. I guess the answer is yes. Had a quick check in the Book of Chivalry that I have, and it, it definitely says that corner camping is very chivalrous. Um, so for the lady? <clears throat> I forgot to deploy a unit of ogres, so they got eaten by wolves. Um, it's a strong start. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, so we're co yeah, we're corner camping, but we've got lots of archers, so that's something. Uh, the archers aren't very good, so that's that's also something. Uh, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, so we we you know we outnumber them. That's good. Our infantry are garbage, though, so that's obviously not great. Look at the ice puppies. Chilling. Because <laughs> they're ice balls. Anywho, so... Yeah, that, that that volley isn't quite... I was hoping for a little bit more, you know? It, it was okay, but it wasn't... It's, it's not bad. It's just that we're going to have to do a lot more of that. And these guys are, aren't very armoured compared to the very heavily armoured, you know, things like Marauder Champions and shit. But they can't get around us, so at least that's something. So North Carolina Ice Balls are going to blunder into our lines. We're going to counter charge with the Man Eaters, because they have the great weapons. There we go. Good stuff so far. It's just a matter of time before they smash through our line, but basically we're just going to have to do as much damage as possible, because all the damage we do to this army will mean that Inevitably, when both stacks attack Luon, he won't have to deal with two complete stacks. He'll deal with a sack and a, and a badly mauled one, if we're lucky. My right flank has already collapsed, but thankfully, uh, fortunately, Chilfroy is there to help out. So that's something. Going to drop a big old comet right on the heads of some marauders. Our man-eaters right in the middle there. I was trying to dodge my own line, and I think I mostly succeeded. A little wind blast to uh, finish off the wounded. Ooh. That, that, was, that was big kills. Big, big kills. That's what we needed. That wiped out several units. Those Marauder champions... And we're also great weapons completely wiped out there. Our left flank is actually fairly secure. Uh, the rest of the flank's not so good. <laughs> like the center flank is, well, the center, for example, is has collapsed. And the right flank is literally just Chilfroy. And the left flank is, is getting pelted with javelins. So if I were to give our current situation a rating out of 10, I would go with like two, may, maybe one. And I think I'm being a little bit over-optimistic. Lots of missile fire coming in. It's just not really doing enough damage. Fortunately, Melin, Melin is getting out of there. We've summoned in the Green Knight, because we can, because it's a defensive battle. And he's going to start wrecking face. We've only turned up a little bit earlier. But he doesn't last for very long anyway. So now we're fighting. Yeah, I don't think our men at arms are really going to do much damage in melee combat. And if we have a look at the, the damage they've done, actually, it's it's very low. The archers are dumb. Yeah, basically nothing. Chilfroy still fighting right in the centre there. He has killed nine. That's not quite good enough. Uh, the Green Knight's killed nine. He's only been around for you know thirty seconds or so. Even less than that, maybe 20 seconds. Some spears. And we're going to try and deal with the enemy chieftain. Sutha Eek on his chariot there. If we can kill him, that'll be something. Ooh, big damage on that first hit. Took about 400 hit points off him. And yeah. I mean, Sutha Eek's getting his ass kicked. Green Knight doing some super good damage. If he can hit. Marauder Chieftain has, has killed 150, though. That's quite a lot. Unfortunately, the rest of our units are being overwhelmed. While the Green Knight is dealing with the enemy Chieftain, the Men at Arms are slowly getting picked off by the incredibly tough Marauders who are just mincing us. However, uh, with that said, the Green Knight is just... Punching his way through everything up to 28 kills, but he will soon despawn with the rest of our forces pulling out He's just gonna give a big old explosion and the battles over yeah. 
Well, you know what? That probably wasn't as bad as it could have been. You're gonna... Oh, you're just gonna lay siege to Marienburg. Okay. That's fine. It'd be nice had you retreated, you know, not too far back into our own territory. Uh, at the moment you are trespassing on the dwarves, which they're not going to take too kindly, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Luon, I don't think that works. Saviour. I don't think you can call yourself a saviour, mate. I just don't think it can be done. Sorry. King Luan Leonke. Hail, Bretonians. Hello. What can the Dowie... Give me a bloody military what alliance to be good. Do I want to keep... Do I... Right, okay. What what kind of garrison do we have here? A full stack. So actually, it might be better to leave him out of it. So if we... Who's laying siege? It's you guys. Is it you guys? Or is it you guys? No. Who the fuck is laying siege? Right. Sutha Eek is laying siege. So... If I attack him, we should get the garrison as well, which we do. Perfect. Which means we are going to have to fight two armies at the same time, but one of them has just been through the ringer, or at least got beat up a little bit. Which is good-ish, maybe? The battered remnants of Sutha Eek's forces laying siege to Marienburg in the distance there does beg the question why the garrison are coming in from this direction. What were the... What were you doing? Have you snuck out for a pint? Bloody... Oof. Okay. Thyrus has engaged the Marauder Chariots. He's currently getting nommed by some ice walls. We'll send some units to help him in a minute. Meanwhile, our reinforcements are setting up on the hill over here. They've got a lot of archers and also trebuchet, which means we're going to get some attention from some of these units, pulling them away from our main force. Well, that's good, which gives our main force time to finish off Sutha Eek. And then they can move to assist. Thyrus is getting nibbled. He's getting nippled, so we're going to send some assistance in the form of some questing knights. Meanwhile, the chariots are being picked off. And we are pounding the Marauder Champions because they're the tough units. They're the nasty ones with lots of armor, melee attack and melee defense and uh, weapon strength and all that kind of good stuff. So we're going to make sure that they die first. Having wiped out the flanking force, our knights reposition. The Pegasus knights moving over, trying to see whether they can assist over here. But to be honest, this this sort of little blob acting as like a, a magnet for some of the enemy enemy army is actually quite useful for us. So I'm just going to leave them leave them there to uh, to fend off the enemy force as best they can. So the Eek is ba was badly wounded by the green knights, and with both Thyrus and Luon jumping him, he goes down very very quickly. However, they both then get jumped by Marauders and Ice Walls. The Questing Knights moving in to join the fray, smashing through some units of Marauders. Barely dodging some of the trebuchet shots. Pegasus is coming down to talk out the Hunters with Javelins. Those Marauders getting smashed and in come our Knights of the Realm. The Ice Walls scattering just before they arrive. The secondary enemy army, the one that didn't attack Chilfroy, is now incoming with some of its units. We have to be a little bit careful here. We could get trapped. Uh, the Knights of the Realm currently engaged with some beasts of Tashnar, which means they're kind of locked down. We've debuffed the shit out of them, and the Pegasus Knights coming down to join the party. But uh, the enemy chieftain on a war mammoth is now advancing. We need to get the Pegasus Knights out of there, because they will get munched. But we need to bring Luon and Thyrus in to engage the Marauder Chieftain. And they are, yep, beating the shit out of him. He has no melee attack, no melee defense, no leadership. So there we go. Our knights now continue to rampage through the enemy army, smashing them aside. Our reinforcements holding the line while the archers deal out some damage. They're actually, you know, not doing too badly. I mean, yeah, okay. okay so some of our units have been wiped out, but that's, you know, they're garrison units. Who cares? 
They're not important. Our Pegasus Knights are being dicks because I think one of them is probably trapped on the ground somewhere. Yep, there he is. There's a few of them trapped on the ground. As such, the units are just like, yeah, I'm going to go back to save my friends. I'm like, no, go fucking help these questing knights. Like, no. No, I will go back here. I will, I will return back to whence I came. You chill. Right, finally, we rushed the rescue of these questing knights. We're getting pounded by the Marauder Champions and the Trebuchets, apparently. They are routed, and just the last few Marauder units to be dealt with, a unit of Femir Stalkers. Like little infantry? Little Femirs, I guess. Charging towards us. The Pegasus Knights are moving to intercept. They're still upset about some of their friends being left behind, for fuck's sake. Just get in there. Christ, you don't have to charge, do you? F right, there we go. The Femir Stalker's getting absolutely destroyed. And these more champions over here, really just the last holding on. But with Luon and more knights charging down the hills, sending them flying. And their general being chased off the battlefield by Thyrus, who's over there. You can see him chasing off the remnants of that chieftain. He's down to half health and he's legging it. And once he's off the battlefield, I think army losses should finally take effect. And the last of the Norsemen will flee from the battlefields. I have no doubt of that. Okay, well, that's two stacks smushed. Can I have my thing of the lady back? Can the lady bless me again, please? I would really like it if the lady could bless me right about now. I'd love a good blessing. All right. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Well, that, that, that's exactly what I asked for. Get yes. Okay, let us... You can't reinforce. That's good. Okay, you're dead. And then I can also move you up and bop you. Oh, we're going to mercenaries. That's good. Glittering scales. That's not bad. Where's these ogres? Down there. Fine. What I'm going to do... I shall do what I can. Well, you're just going to ambush, and then you're going to sit there and look, you know, weak. Which, to be fair, you are. So that shouldn't be difficult for you. That should be a fairly easy one to do. We're going to get a unicorn. Unicorn and magical reserves. See if we can lure this last army down and crush it. Now, Luan does have an ability called... Um, Cry of the Lion or something. I can't fucking remember what it's called. But um, is it one of these? There we go. Lion of Bretonia. So this is a hex. It's map-wide. It's quite nice. The only issue is it takes five minutes to become active. Pretty much every time I've used it, it's usually been the end of the battle. So... I don't, like, I, oh, no, 60 seconds. I'd be like, okay, sure. Five minutes? Not, no. T chill that fucking, chill, chill it out. Just just chill out, all right? Just chill it out. You don't need five fucking minutes on a, unless it's maybe to try and, like, wipe out the left. What's this? All negative effects are removed. What? Faction wide. Also, uh, effects are additive. Negated on level 30. Of what? What does that even mean? I mean, all negative effects are removed. What? I genuinely don't know what that does. Okay, it gives me more money. Fine.
Okay. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. Not gonna... Sure. Whatever. What... Whatevs. I'm gonna give you... Selective Abhorrence. Mods need that. Okay. We're making, you know, money. In, in place. So, if, if this isn't a rat hole... It is a rat hole. Yep, ick it. Ick it burned it. Um... For the lady. Does it have walls? It won't no. have... Okay, no. it won't have walls. It's a lot of rats. Can I be fucked to do that? I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'll be right. Sorted. There we go. Was that 30% research? Uh, traits gains. 30% research? Bloody hell. My reputation precedes me. Oh, it really doesn't. Let's get some more spears. Good. And I'm tempted to get Knights of Lionhearted just because... Why not? Why not? Okay, we'll upgrade you. Oh. Foolish thing. I see. No. I genuinely don't. Fine. Uh, let's... Let's, let's, let's... What the fuck do we do? Uh, I guess... I guess that? I don't... Are you in range to attack? No. no. Can Orion help us? No. Are we pretty fucked? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty fucked. Armand, you can be a true hero to Bretonia. For however long you live, seeing as we now have... It might not... Oh. Protector of the oak. Okay, Orion's down. How the fuck did you hop over there? Not enough Holy shit, you can. Have they increased the range of... Cannot, not. I couldn't jump over there before, could I? Could I? I might have been able to. Hmm. Uh, okay, well, that's obviously not good. On a rating of 1 to 10, that's really bad, actually, because now Orion's out of position, which means he might get bopped. And uh, then I have I have no wood friends. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, this is a pickle. Well, my ambush failed, but that's okay, because... Bop. Super bop. Um bop. I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere near enough chivalry for all these chivalrous deeds that I'm doing. It's bullshit. Okay, we're being good. L lots of people dead. Uh, that's good. You've run off. That's good. If I march down here, do you think we can link up with Orion and not die that would be that would be a dream wouldn't it I will you. i'm just going to run over to castle carcassonne because that way i'm safe uh brion might lose it but i that's that's a sacrifice i am willing to make i am the blood of Shil. right we've we've crushed Farewell. we've crushed the the Norsecan raid a large Norsecan raid attacked. It attacked Marienburg. We had a little skirmish with Chilfroy. But succeeded. To, uh... Well, we got, we got crushed. But then we succeeded in crushing them back. So that's... That's good. This is ill -considered. Get, o get over it. Good. I go forth. Yeah, you, uh, yes, well, that's that, good. Good, good, good. Right, let's go Deadly Blades. Do I want Deadly Blades? Is that what I want? I think I do. Yeah, okay, we'll go Deadly Blades. Um, you do Flaming, Magical, and Bleeding Attacks. 
You have bonus first large. Good. You have all that kind of stuff. I guess we'll go power sap for the moment. And virus. Yes, we'll keep going with that, I think. My reputation precedes me. Well, it's getting his head stamped on by Norskans. It's not quite the um the heroic tales, is it? Okay, let's go with the Head Eaters tribe because I like them. And I think we are Oh well, I say I think we're okay. I mean that is not necessarily completely true. Let's just upgrade. It looks like Malekith has landed, and not in a good way. Also, they've taken over Shale, which has reduced my income because they've taken. Um, look, the Phoenix Court will hear your words. Oh, you're finally trading with Avalon. Oh, absolutely not. Come on, mate, chill out. You know, let's be honest. Oh, God, it's Crone Halibron as well. God. Right. Come over here. Okay, you are actually strength... You are, you are strength rank 7. That is brilliant. Let's do all of that. That's great. That's going to... Good. Okay. You're actually... Are you a strong ally? Could you be a strong ally? I mean, no, you've, how many settlements have you got? You've got six. Okay, that's not quite not quite what I was hoping. How many settlements has Malekith got, do we think? Do we... Never been much of a diplomat. No, well, you don't need to be when you can kill people, do you? Oh, the Warriors of Chaos are completely fucking Malekith, by the looks of it. I mean, at least that's good, I guess does beg the question, where are they here? Looks like the- oh, the fuck. <sighs> Motherfucker. Goddamn Morga. God damn him. God- wait. Hang on. Wait. Hang on. Wait. Did I just see- By Sigma's will, I thought I- in peace. Emil, what the fuck are you doing over there? You're not over there. That's a ruin. Is it? Or have you turned into a Skaven and settled it? What's going on there? What do, what do we think? Okay, Kathik is dead. I think I, Malekith might be abandoning Nagarond. I think he's going to have to. I don't think there's much left. There's no good guys left to stop Chaos. Apart from me. And I've got two armies and a stack of peasants. And I don't they think they... I don't think peasants are actually classified as human. You come to Britonia, stranger. I uh, am its king. I mean, technically we went to Lustria, but... Sure. I won't... I won't stop here. God, this is like the end times. The Empire's fucked. We're doing our best. Uh, charge bonus for 20% upkeep for cavalry. Get fucked. Get out of here. Get out of here with your insanity. With your insane warblings. Okay, let's head to the Black Pits and burn that down. Strength and honor. Um, you, my, and wisdom, my friend, are going to need something better than peasants. And I'm a little bit concerned that... Oh, Orion's over there. No. Okay, we could yes. He'll just run away though, won't he? I can guarantee they'll just run up they'll just leg it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna sit out here and I'm gonna ambush. Yeah, that's right. It's not a shit for us, but fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. What are you gonna do? Tell tell the lady on me? You you this just snotty little swats? Hmm? Uh good, so right. Um oh, Tyrion. I am the heir of Anarian. And I bid you welcome never. You say never. Could we maybe just maybe I haven't got all day. No. We will. Okay, thanks. So 
It looks like Malekith might be getting his ass kicked, which is good for me. Uh, how many settlements do you have? Your strength rank five. You have 19 settlements. Okay, I see. And you are currently fighting... Oh, you're allied with Clan Pestilence. That's a joy. You're currently fighting Itza, who are probably those red splodges there. And I'm guessing this might be all Skrulk territory. So I was hoping Lustria might be, you know, a hive of lizard man action. But nope, it's it's Dark Elf and Skaven. So we have Norskans over here. Chaos over here. Uh, more Chaos over here. So sort of Dark Elf action here. Uh, green skin action down here. More Dark Elf and Skaven action down here. Sort of Skaven action down here as well. I don't know what's going on with the Border Princes. Uh, it looks like dwarves, actually. So that's that. That could be worse. And um, yeah, so a li little bit of little bit of high elf action and lizard man action. Me and the, the the empire that's a lot on fire. So good. Well, I guess that's going to have to wait <laughs> until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.